hi everyone so welcome to my channel so in today's class i'm going to be teaching you how to make a perfect female trouser over the time i have mastered this skill and uh, this method worked perfectly for me even as a beginner this will really help you it's, it's a very straightforward tutorial very very straightforward tutorial if you can pedal in machine then you can sew your own trouser by yourself i'll show you how to uh, make your own um, crush line that is going to sit perfectly well on you i'm going to show you also how you can also fix your band and it's going to lie flat on your back so the measurements i'm going to be working with is weight of 32 weight of 32 you're going to measure your waist just go around like this okay so wherever you are starting from okay for this class i'm going to be making an high waist um trouser and it's going to be starting from my navel so my measurement is going to start from here. Okay, so I'm going to, okay, so this is where it's going to stay. So if, you are, if your whole waist is starting from your main waist, go there and measure it like that. Okay, so my waist is here. Then, okay, waist of 31. Okay, so, so here uh, I will need my hip, my hip around my hip around okay so my hip around is 39 i want something a little bit free so my hip around is 30 39 so to get my crotch okay so you can either do your hip divided by four to get your hip around but most of the time even after dividing i see finally that uh, i don't usually get that fitness that i love i love when my crotch is very fitted I don't want something sagging okay so to measure that this is what i do because my because my uh, trouser is starting from my navel is an high waist trouser i'm going to put my tape roof from there and i'm going to measure it down so if you are measuring for a client you know you some people may not find it comfortable doing this you can allow them to sit down on a seat and measure it so this is what i do i just put it like this way okay straight well and i'm going to get okay so i have 12 because is a high waist trouser if it's not high waist it's not going to be up to that okay so i have 12 so this is the crotch i'm going to be working with i'm going to be working with the crotch of 12 inches okay so my thigh is 24 24 divided by 2 okay and my nail length is 25 and my length is 42 okay so when you are dividing your waist you divide it by four your hip you divide it by by four your thigh you divide it by two okay so let's just begin so after folding my fabric use your thigh to fold your fabric okay my thigh is 24 24 divided by two is 12.5 okay so I'm going to be adding one inch allowance to the front. So I need like 13 inches for this side. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start from here. I'm just going to mark like um, maybe like one inch, you know, just to leave like a savage here. Then from this edge, I'm going to mark one. My length is 43, right? Okay. Let me just measure my length. My length is 43. So I have 44 here. I'm just going to leave it that way. I have 44 here. I'm going to leave it. So for the one inch will be for the turning. Okay. So I'm going to measure my crush. My crush is 12, remember? And because I'm going to be putting the band, a band of 1.5, I'm going to do that 1.5 from it you understand i'm going to be adding band so i'm going to do that 1.5 inch from that 12. okay so i'm going to place that 1.5 inch okay i'm going to place it on this uh this is my mark okay my 1.5 is going to be on this mark okay so and then i'm going to measure 12 inches i hope you understand that because of that 1.5 that is going to be for my band okay so I'm going to because if you don't deduct that you realize that your crotch will still not be fitted because automatically you're adding 1.5 after adding your 
your waist if you go ahead and measure 12 and see went ahead to add 1.5 inch of that uh, band so now i have it this way this is my crotch line which will also serve as my tie line okay so from here this is where how i get my 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 hip around so i'm just going to go i mean my hip line i'm just going to go up by one every two inches okay so by two inches so this will serve as my hip hip line okay so from here i'm going to measure my knee line my knee line i'm going to make use of 25 my knee line is 25. so from this my waist from my waist i'm going to mark 1.5 inch in okay 1.5 inch that is what i'm going to mark from this my waistline from my waistline i'm going to mark 1.5 inch in i'm just i just want to shape it you know female trousers you know you know the way females you know they have a kind we have a kind of curvy shape at the hip end so i'm going to mark 1.5 inch inward like that then and at the edge of the trouser i'm also going to go in by 1.5 inches 1.5 inches at the edge of the trouser remember remember at the upper part 1.5 at the edge 1.5 okay so i'm just going to connect it i'm just going to connect it to the hip line okay then i'm going to i'm going to go down straight to to that 1.5 that i marked okay just like this you can see that we have like a kind of curve okay you can see that we have like a kind of curve we have a straight ruler it will be better a long straight ruler so i have it this way all right so that is that about this um, side so my waist divided by four i'm going to place it right here okay when i place it this way i'm going to add two inches allowance two inches two inches add two inches okay my waist divided by four starting from this 1.5 i'm going to mark it then i'm going to add one and two inches to it then on my hip line my hip around is 39 39 divided by 4 is 9.5 i'm going to put it this way i'm going to add one inch okay my tie around is 24 24 divided by 2 is 12.5 okay 12.5 here and i'm going to add one inch to this place okay so you can see what we have i added two inches here I added one inch here i added one inch here you can see so i'm just going to connect it like this okay i'm going to connect it like this then i'm going to take this one this way you can see this is what we have and then to mark my down part because this trouser is a straight trouser it's not a pencil trouser at all it's like a palazzo trouser okay so here i'm going to mark here I'll mark what I have on my crotch line. Here on my crotch line, I have 13.5. So that 13.5, I'm just going to bring it down. So I'll mark the 13.5 inches at the hem line. Then I'm going to minus 1.5 inch. I'll just take it in 1.5. Then I'm just going to connect it straight to, to this point. Okay. Okay, so I'll just connect it like that. I'll just connect it. You can see that it's a straight pine and it's not that wide. Um, the down part is a little bit wide and it's not pencil. Okay. On the waistline, I'm going to come down by one inch. On the waistline, I'm going to come down by one inch. Then I'm just going to connect it. I'm going to connect it here. To give this kind of slanty curve, you get it. To give it a kind of slanty curve, then I'm going to cut it up. Now to cut the back, just carry the front and just lay it. 
fold your fabric into two make sure the down part is a little bit longer than the than the front that you just got okay the back is very simple you just to, to add some allowances all right so on this crotch line on this crotch line had 1.5 Remember, we've already added one inch to this crotch, so you don't need to add a lot of allowances again. So I'm going to add 1.5, 1.5 inch here. Then I'm going to extend it. Then here, you remember we on the waistline. Remember on the waistline that we we came down by one inch. Okay, we came down by one inch to give this kind of slanty. Uh, shape so I'm going to go up by one inch then I'm just going to add another one inch so here I'm going up by two inches okay so at this part on this part this edge I'm going to extend one inch out like to the side not up here you are, you are extending it up by two inches but to the side here you are going to extend it by just one inch I hope you are seeing what I'm doing so from here to this side, one inch, one inch to the side. So from this hip line, hip line here, I'm just going to connect it up to this one inch, to this one inch. I'm going to connect it up to this one inch. Then I'm going to just take it up to this, to meet these two inches, to meet these two inches. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. Okay. So from here, Connect it to this one inch extension out and connect it to this one a bit two inches here. Remember, we extend this one out by 1.5 inches. Okay, so here just watch what I'm going to do from this hip line come up by 1.5. From this hip line, come up by 1.5 inches. Okay, come up by 1.5. I'm going to see what we are going to do here. So here, from up here, just come slantly, slantly, slant your hand, then come, 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 then you have this. Can you see what we have there? Can you see? Okay. So just come, 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 come. Yes. Like, don't go in too much. That is why I said you should just measure 1.5 inches here. All right. <coughs> then we are done with this part this part you're not going to add anything on this edge but here we are going to be adding one inch one inch you are going to be adding one inch here one inch here we are going to add one inch here okay so i'm just going to connect it so I, it's only one inch allowance that i added so i'm just going to connect it straight down okay i'm going to connect the lines I'm going to connect the lines straight down. I'll connect the lines straight down. Okay. Okay, so you can see what we have. Just connect straight down and we are done. We are done. We are done. So we are done cutting it. You can see. This is our front and the back. This is the front and this is the back. You can see the down part. Okay, it's a little bit wide at the back. Now, how to join it? Take your front part. Take your front part and sew here. Sew with half inch. Here, sew with half inch half inch i'm going to sew with half inch straight here to this point straight i'm going to stitch so after stitching that way i'm going to turn it just imagine i have stitched it stitching it then i'm going to take one of one of the back parts i'm going to place it you see when i place it this way from this edge i'm going to stitch down by one inch it's going to be one inch here. Then I'm going to cuff it, cover it. Then when you get to this hip side, it's going to be half inch. So it is that half inch I'm going to use it to sew down. Okay. From this point, mark one inch. 
okay we are sewing it down one inch then down with half inches from the hip line let it be one inch. just tip your hand tip it tip it like that then do the same thing to this other side that's what i'm going to to go ahead and do then the back side is going to have a dart the front side is not going to have that so the I'm going to hold the dart too and I will show you. So let me show you how to make your dart. So you are going to measure your hips, which is your nipple to nipple measurement. Okay. So for this, I'm making use of four. I'm going to add one half inch for sewing allowance. So from here, I'm going to measure 4.5. The hips measurement I'm making use of is four inch, um, eight inches. Eight inches divided by two is four. So four plus half inch, 4.5. So that is how to get your hip. So 4.5. All right, so I'm just going to notch it. And um, the length of my, the length is going to be like four. I'm going to use four for the length, okay? So I'm going to hold that. I'll hold the back side also. Then I will show you the next thing we are going to do. So let me just go ahead and stitch. I'm done stitching. You can see. So I've held the dart. This is the dart. So this is how it's looking right now. Now see, this is what how it's looking. You can see I from here one inch, then down here half half inch. Here one inch, half inch. You can see I've joined this one with half inch also. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do is to cut our band. This is my whole method of doing it. Um, I have tried a lot of methods and it seems not. It's just as if it's not really working. So I just find a way around how to get mine. And this is how I do mine personally. And it's working for me. A lot of people that have made um, um, trousers for, they love it. So, so just watch how I'm making my cut band. <laughs> okay. Now for the band, I have this cut out is i just cut out something that is longer than the front okay it's longer so the width i have 26 here so it's longer i'm not going to use everything so the width here is um 2.5 i'm going to be using 1.5 inch so i have i'm going to cut two inches out half inch for the joining allowance okay half inch for the joining allowance so i'm going to place it remember this is the front this is the front this is the way we join these ones are the back okay so i'm going to just place it find the center or just let me just say this is my center okay so i'm going to place it this way then i just basically i just want to trace out the shape the shape of the front okay the front shape okay i'm going to trace it out all right so i'm just going to add like half inch here half inch here okay so i'm going to take it down then i'm going to trace it out i can just at this point fold it You can see that it's not straight it is not straight it's forming like it's giving us like this kind of shape you can see that is sitting here because the thing is if you if you cut this thing straight if you cut it straight you realize that it's not going to sit well 
and we want something that is going to sit firmly on our waist that is what we want so don't cut your band and just cut it straight okay so this little effect that just this impression is going to give it uh, a kind of smooth flat um, uh, shape and you're going to like it so for the back also we are going to do the same thing I'm just going to place this So for this back, just pick one of this, one of this, and just place it. One, one is okay. Please pick one of it. You know we are here to join the other side. Pick one of it and just place it. You get it. Just place it and just trace it out. Okay, just trace it out. Okay, so this is the front. I mean the back. Okay, this is the back, and this is the front. Okay, I'll just put back. And the front. Okay. I'm going to fold it two together this way. You can see. I'll fold it. You know that this is the back part we are here to join it together and this is the front so to join this now to get this perfect fit you know you want something fitted if you want something fitted if you want it loose you know this is where you are going to determine what you want okay now you have it into two my waist is 31 okay so i'm just going to go ahead and measure 31 here divided by two so i'm going to place it right from here right from this edge here i'm going to place it okay 31 divided by two is 15.5 is 15.5 i'm going to measure 15.5 here okay then on my hip line, my hip is 39. 39 divided by 2 is 19.5. So on the hip line here, I'm going to place my measurement. And I'm going to measure 19.5. 19.5. Okay. Try and pull this out. So... Because there is bulkiness here. So, because of that hip shape. Okay. So, 19.5. I have 19.5 here. If you want some kind of ease, like maybe when you are doing making your measurement, it was very fitted. You can just have half inch. I'm going to be adding half inch here. I want something a little bit free at that point. Okay. So, I'm just going to join these two lines together. Okay, I'll join the two lines together. Then I'm going to cut, tip it down, tip it down, tip it down like this. Okay. Okay. So here I'm just going to go down by, I'm going to stitch it by half of an inch, half of an inch, half of an inch, straight down. I'll do the same thing to this other side too. Half of an inch, stay down. Okay, go down like this. Half of an inch, okay? Alright, so by then you are going to get your fitted, fitted trousers. And um, after stitching it that way, okay, let me just show you how to do your band. So let's say you are done stitching it, right? Okay, this is where one of the side is where uh, is where the zipper is going to be so i'm going to put my zip here so i'm going to open this place up so i'll open it up and my zip is going to be here then my band i'll go ahead i'll add some gum stay here add some gum stay 
then I'm going to take the front part before joining this I'll take the front part I'll have the front part here I can lose this place also small and I'm going to join the front part join the front part here separately I'll stitch it stitch it then here I'm going to hard join the back after stitching this side okay I hope you understand after stitching this um, crush line I'm going to add my band okay I'm going to show you when I when I'm done you're going to see how it's going to look like and I'm done with it see what we have here I've joined everything together I've joined the I've joined the I've added the zipper at the side you can see and you can see what I was talking about on the the band okay you can see the way the band is so I just what I did was just I picked the back so I opened this part up also so I picked the back and I I joined this separately I joined the band to the back separately after joining the crotch side after joining the cross line so I just joined the back separately and also I joined the band to the front separately so I just picked it up like this you can see the stitch I just stitch it down one inch then when I got to this hip line it became half inch okay that's just what I did and I I I had a zipper you can see that there is joining here and that is how I usually join my band and we are going to see it when I wear it it's going to look so flat and neat at the top part of it so you can just don't when you are cutting your band don't cut your band straight it's good it's not going to lie flat on your back it's just going to be giving a kind of sagging which we don't want okay so let me just wear it and see how it looks so you can see the way it is see the back see what i'm talking about see the back see that the back is laying flat you can see you can see that the back is laying flat see the front also it's sitting well it's not that it's sagging or anything like that it's sitting and you can see the crotch also you can see the crotch okay so if you follow this step you're going to get something like this you can always modify it to how you want your trouser to be you can see this is a palazzo trouser the down part is is wide in fact, I, I love this. I so much love this. You can see. This is high waist. If you want yours to start from here, it can start. You can see. see. Very perfect trouser. It's not that it's you can use it to climb, you know. It's free and it's fit. 